I thought breakfast was at 10 or till 10 again. I know. It's been so hot and I did not bring enough shirts. We're now just going to be packing and heading out. We had breakfast with our family. I don't know, and now we're gonna pack. Wow. Going to bed every night with the golden arch. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is our last morning slash day we're checking out today from the Drury Hotel in Indiana. It's actually like a much better hotel than what I expected because it's dreary. It sounds like dreary. It's just in a parking lot. Like it's not scenic. Not that really anything is scenic, but it came with three continental breakfast, three dinner, and three free drinks per person of drinking age a night. So I was like, that is insane. So that was pretty cool. So today we are going and driving back to Grand Rapids, but we're stopping th through, I think it's called St. Joe, which is where w my cousin lives. One of my cousins lives there for sure. And so we're going to see her place because some of my cousins were just so kind and took the day off today and tomorrow. So that's awesome because I flew all the way out here. It would be nice to see people. And I'm so tired. So we're gonna stop by and see her place. Cause I've never seen her house. I was, last time I was here, she was getting married, was for her wedding. And I don't know if they didn't even have a place chosen yet. So now they have a house and they've been renovating it. So we're gonna see that. And then I don't know if we're gonna like go see a beach or go see Lake Michigan. I don't know. All I know for sure is that tonight we're doing a cookout, which is actually just a barbecue. I think as many people as possible are trying to get up tonight to my Aunt Audrey's house, which is where we're staying. Oh, this is a Cam. Hi, Cam. So I think this is the main day everybody's trying to come up. What? And then some of my cousins. I'll to that minute. What? Yesterday, the wedding was pretty, like, it was pretty. How many people would you say was there, Cam? Mm -hmm. Like 200 or less. Like it was pretty intimate. It was a pretty nice area though. At first I pulled up and I'm like, this is a little random. Like I don't really know. Like it was a field. But then we walked into the field, Cam and I, to take pictures later. And oh my gosh, it ended up looking so good. And so it was really nice. And it was a beautiful ceremony. And they had a lot of fun. Like Cam's and I was more classic, I think. And they were doing like, you know, the fun grooms, the flower boys, and like, just had a lot of like fun songs and stuff like that. And so I'm sure it suited their personalities very well. And oh my gosh, it was so hot out. I planned on wearing a long dress. And I was like, no, 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 no. So I wore the short one. It was so hot, thank goodness I did. We were literally sweating. Everybody was like, oh my gosh, boiling. And it was so bright out too, so we were taking photos later. And like, I know we have a whole family photo at one point and my eyes are definitely closed because I, I have such sensitive eyes when it's bright out. Other people are like just living life and I'm like, it's my lot in life. But when we went inside, they had a s'more station and I was like, that's so fun. It took me a long time to find it because I saw it like on one wall they had chips and candy and stuff. So I thought the other wall of, had the same snacks and that's the one all the kids were at. So I was like, I'm gonna sit far away from that. And, and then it turned out it was the s'more station and the kids were really doing it right. And I should have followed where they were at. After the wedding, we had like a few family members also in this hotel. So we came back here and we were here talking till like almost midnight. So I'm so tired. Like it was a really good time. No regrets. <coughs> Bless you. 
Foxtail. Hmm. But I'm just so tired. I woke up at 6 a.m. Which is 3 a.m. our time. I don't know if I've adjusted or if I haven't. All I know is I'm constantly tired and I'm constantly eating mass-produced food. <laughs> and I just, I just want to go home and have some rice and chicken. Like I miss, I don't know, feeling healthy. And also there's like no water here. It's like all juice and pop. And so I'm like, where is the water, people? <laughs> I feel like that's probably the main thing, Cam, hey? Huh? How much water do you drink at home? A lot. And how much, like, what's a lot? Like, I probably- Two liters? Two liters. I probably drink like three water bottles. That's only 1.5 liters. Really? Of my water bottle? My Starbucks one? Is yeah, that pink one? I do believe you're 1.75. Oh, wow. You drink a lot of water then. You're supposed to drink a minimum of two liters a day or something. It's actually based off of your weight you need to figure well, that out. Well, I'm not a huge pot, so I'm probably uh, three liters. Why did you leave the fridge door open? Because it needs to dry out. There's oh, okay. I, I was just making sure there was a reason. Um, And here, how much water have we drank? Like none. <laughs> none. <laughs> it's so bad. And I think that's probably the reason we feel like crap, Cam. I just came up with that right now while t talking to myself on my silly little TikTok videos. I've discovered it. Yeah, I think we should go pick up like a pack of water bottles for real. I'm assuming you want this candle in my bag? Yes, please. That one's for Anne Audrey to say thanks for letting us stay at your house and use your water and be picky eaters. Cause she bought all gluten-free stuff just for me. Oh really? So yeah. So I was like, that's really nice. That's very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, do you want to do my eyeliner today? Like no, just for I kicks do, and giggles. I do not want to do your eyeliner. I don't want to do my eyeliner do. either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh. Nice shirt, Johnny. We live in the pineapple lamp, let's see. Pineapple square pants. Who's the other one? Horace and something, something, something. Oh, is that what they say? Jai, did you ever watch that? Yeah. Me neither. I watched it at the dentist one time and it was so bad I'd ask them to change the channel. Dude, That's like childhood right there. No, it's not. Th not. That's probably why you're Hey, 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 hey. Don't use that word. It's not a nice word. I might actually be that. I might feel offended. Every single personality test says you take a long time to process things. What did you say? Every personality I'm, test I'm you. Oh. <laughs> That was funny. It was so fun at the wedding yesterday because Cam loves American politics more than Canadian politics. Partially because American politics really influences Canadian politics, but also, I don't know what else. <laughs> and so he found like my whole American family, all the aunts and uncles will talk American politics. And then one of my cousin's husbands Justin also loves American politics, which makes more sense because they're American. So for them, it's just politics, I guess. But it was so funny because like one cousin's husband, Michael, I think he kind of thought like, oh, Canadians are coming. I can talk hockey with them. But Cam doesn't watch hockey at all. Even when we had the box at the Canucks, he would be on his phone the whole time, and I'd be like, come on, get him, fight, yeah, let's go. And Cam would just be scrolling on the phone, and I'd be like, did you see that? No. Um, so I think Michael was a little disappointed that we were not huge hockey people. Because I'm, I'm going to watch a game in person, but I'm not going to like follow it. Except for the playoffs this year, when they were playing that team, and it was... 3-2, uh, and with six seconds left, they got a goal, and then in overtime, they won. That was insane. That was like, would have been the most interesting game to play be at, and one of my friends was there. It was in the States, it wasn't in Canada. I was like, you are so lucky, because that's probably the most interesting game to be at. And to be there in person would have been wild. Like to be giving up hope with the last six seconds. Some people are already out, getting into their car to beat traffic. And to win and to be there going woo, 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 
would be awesome. But anyways, so then Cam stuck by Justin for a while to talk about politics and it was so fun. And then I even got my sister involved in the conversation, even though we're quite politically different. And so it was fun. So we talked about that for a bit and he had the best time talking with my aunt about politics because I feel like they're very like aligned. So, and my uncle was like, stop taking up all of Cam's time. And Cam was like, this is the best, I'm staying here. I'm not moving or talking to anybody else. And I tried to float around as much as I could, which was really nice because I got to talk to like my cousin Regan, who last time I was here was like, I guess like not, like she must've been in middle school, but now she's about to, she's not, finish high school but she's on the higher end of high school so she's planning for her life and what she wants to do and so it's so nice to hear from her about her plans and of course like Trent every time I come is so like just like welcoming and chatty and friendly so that was nice like him and Regan and Rachel who was really busy with the wedding this time and Shelby and just everybody's really nice but like they especially are really good conversationalists which is nice because as I said yesterday, I'm more of a listener, and I don't know, I'm just like content. And my dad was really getting down and groovy, like he was so social, and he was so dancey, and it was just like a fun time. It was funny, during the father-daughter dance, like they, like ours was choreographed for ours, and then they were like just swaying and chatting and having fun, and, and my, I was like, what do you think they're talking about? And my dad's probably about our dance. I think they saw it on YouTube. Or like, a, wishing they brought confetti like our dance. Like, you know, like we were just goofing around. And so it's nice. So nice. Well, that's all for today. I need to pack up. Because checkout is very soon. And my family's all very placing bets that I'm going to be last. Do it for Robin. You know what I think of when I see these? Did you ever watch H2O or that aquamarine? The mermaids go in the water tank? That's what I think of. Way out to Lake Michigan. Yeah, that's amazing. Huh? Like, oh, really right before Christmas. Oh, okay. Going to Thanksgiving, Christmas, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this was the color that was literally everywhere. Yeah, this one is Leo. So cute. So cute. Yeah. Lake Michigan. Look, are there sharks in this ocean? <laughs> Works, what? It doesn't go running into the water. I'm going goes. in the water too. Oh, okay. Leave the garbage. <laughs> oh, <don't> <laughs> wow, it's clean. It's clear. No, it's a mushroom. <laughs> 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 
Ja.